I've been in therapy. I'm, I have a high degree of awareness. I know where my patterns come from. I understand my relationship to my parents. I understand how I'm repeating this behavior. I know what the void is. But when I went into breath, it was exposing a level in my subconscious that I couldn't consciously activate. I couldn't get to. And I was like, oh, this isn't from when I was 17. This is from when I was four. And I'd be like, whoa, what is that? You know? And I'd be like, oh my God, I'm not actually angry. I'm really sad. So it was going such a level deeper that I couldn't get to in talk therapy. And I get, couldn't get to by intellectualizing or by reading books. Um, it was going, the breath was taking me so far beyond that. And, you know, I was so curious. So I kept going to different workshops and classes and retreats around the world because I was like, is this real? Like, is this really happening? And do other people have this experience? So I went to all these group classes and I was listening to the shares and it's like, we were all getting there. We were all like seeing ourselves as like seven year old boys and girls. And like, this was the event that shaped this behavior. And this was the reason that this pattern developed. And, you know, again, I was just trusting my intuition, trusting the next step. And somebody was like, oh, you would really, you know, love India. And I was like, okay, that must have been a sign from the universe <laughs> to take it to India. But in India, I started just exploring more of like Kundalini Tantra and Ayurveda. And I wanted to know everything. I wanted to know if breathwork was the most efficient and effective modality. So I better explore and self-experiment with a lot of different modalities. So I went to Peru and I tried plant medicine. I did ayahuasca in the Amazon, which was absolutely insane. And then I did a 10 day silent Vipassana to see if I could access those same states of consciousness. And then I went back to Bali and went to all the energy healers and I went to a hypnotherapist and I tried everything really as like research, but also as for my deep work, for my self-discovery. And every place taught me something different. I unraveled a new layer. I got new insights. Um, but at the end of the day, the thing that I found to be most powerful, natural, and where I could connect the dots to transcendent behavior was breath work. I love that. 